Hi, what's up everybody? I honestly believe that today is the best time for anyone to break into the tech industry. Let me explain. I just came across an amazing list full of companies like Google, Pinterest, and IBM that are hiring people with limited experience into tech. You receive on-the-job training and mentoring, and you get to work on actual projects that help you build up your skills, and of course, you'll be getting paid that tech money. These companies are hiring for roles like software engineering, data analytics, digital marketing, IT, project management, and user experience design. If you've been waiting for a sign to pivot into a new career field like tech or to take a chance on yourself, this is it. This is an amazing opportunity that I know a lot of you have been waiting for and I'm super excited to share it with you all. But time is of the essence. Applications are now open, but they will be closing soon. So if you're watching this and applications are closed, that just means that you have more time to prepare for the next time that the applications open again. But by the way, hey, I'm John, your friend in tech. If you're new here, I'm a software engineer at Google based in the Bay Area. And a little bit about my journey to Google, I was a computer science major in college and I remember applying to so many internships and getting so many rejections, which was super frustrating because I know if I was just given an opportunity to prove myself that I could do really well. I came across a program at Google called the Student Training and Engineering Program and this program was specifically to help bridge the gap between academic study and a professional internship and it was exactly the chance that I needed. So I applied and I got in and having Google on my resume opened up a lot of doors for me and that's why I'm really excited to make this video because I know a lot of you would benefit from learning about these opportunities that you may not know about yet. I also want to give full credit to Tanika Askew for curating this list of opportunities on Twitter. I'll link to it in the description below. There are lots of companies hiring for these similar programs but in this video I'm going to focus on the Google apprenticeship program because I know from my comments that a lot of you want to work at Google specifically so in this video I'll go over what the Google apprenticeship program is who it's for and I'll also share resources that you could use to help you write your resume and prepare for interviews which will be useful for everybody even if you're not applying to this program and a quick disclaimer that although I do work at Google this video is not affiliated with Google in any way and I'm just saying that to make it clear that I'm only speaking on on my behalf, I don't speak for Google. So I'm pretty much just sharing a lot of the resources that Google themselves provide and I'll show you how you can access them. I also just wanna say that this video will be highly unedited because like I mentioned earlier, the applications are open now and they're closing soon. So I really just wanna get this content out there as soon as possible so that you all can prepare your applications and apply. All right, let's just get straight into it. Let me start my screen recording. All right, so I'm on google.com. I'm just going to Google the Google Apprenticeship Program. You can see the first link. Apprenticeships, join a work and study program at Google, gain real world experience and get paid in the process. So that's a pretty good one line summary of what this program is about. And on this website, you get to see all the program details, like the dates, the locations, how to apply. So I'll just quickly go through this website and show you all the different things that you'll wanna look at when you're looking into this program to see whether or not if it's for you. Apprenticeships contribute toward the development of digital skills by providing opportunities for work and study. They can serve as part of your journey to a meaningful career. During the program, apprentices can get exposure to different areas and teams at Google while receiving external training and developing their professional skills on the job. To be eligible to apply, you need a strong academic performance at any level of education or transferable experience. So that means that you don't need a college degree. You need the ability to speak and write in English and the local language if that is not English fluently and idiomatically. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. And then you also need to have authorization to work in the country where you're applying. I know I get a lot of comments from people outside of the United States that wanna apply and work in the United States. And honestly, I have no idea about that process. You're better off asking someone that's like a recruiter, someone that will know about whether or not you need to apply for a visa or something like that. And then when it comes to what materials you need to apply, you need a resume and then depending on your country you might need a cover letter short answer questions and then a transcript or after do test and then now let's get into the location tab to see where these programs are offered so we have several apprenticeship programs available across countries and areas so in france india ireland the netherlands switzerland the uk and the united states and you can see there's different kinds of programs depending on where the location is and then i'm just going to go over the u.s apprenticeship tab because i know i have a large u.s audience but you can also dig into this and see what the other locations offer. So what's cool about the US apprenticeship program is that it is an official registered apprenticeship program. So upon completion, you're going to receive a nationally recognized credential 
certified by the U.S. Department of Labor. This program is a structured learning and development opportunity. You participate in on-the-job training and related technical instruction, as well as career readiness workshops and opportunities to develop professional skills. You're paid hourly for your time studying and learning on the job, and you're required to dedicate 40 hours each week to the program. So it's pretty much a full-time job where you're not only working, but you're learning on the job. And I think this program is really for people that have started learning a little bit. This will help bridge that gap between, you know, what you've learned and how to actually work in the industry. So in terms of the program structure, it's going to be three weeks onboarding, so learning all the tools. Then you have a six week boot camp where you're actually learning the foundational knowledge. And then you're actually going to join a Google team to train on the job. And then you'll also continue to learn new skills relevant to your field. And then also have career workshops throughout the program. And then at the end of the program, you're gonna have more career readiness support. And it sounds like they'll help you land a job, whether it's a job at Google or maybe somewhere else. Honestly, this sounds like an awesome program. I highly encourage you to do more research on your own to see if it's the right fit for you. So important information, applications are open from May 2nd to the 16th. The program actually starts in September 12 of 2022, and then it's either 12 or 20 months depending on which track you choose. So in the US, these programs are offered in Atlanta, Austin, Chicago, and New York, and most tracks follow a hybrid workweek schedule where you spend three days in the office and two days wherever you work best. And just a little bit more information about what are the different tracks. So in data analytics, you learn how to be a data analyst, collecting, transforming, and organizing data in order to help make informed the business decisions. You could be in digital marketing where you drive brand awareness and lead generation through digital channels. And then it's also cool that they show you what certificate you'll get at the end of it. Information technology, IT specialists troubleshoot problems so computers and networks run correctly. Project management, project managers ensure projects within an organization are managed and completed with maximum value. Software engineering, so you get to learn what I do. Software engineers work on complex computer science solutions, develop scalable, distributed, software system and collaborate on smaller projects that have universal appeal. And those are like the foundational skills you need. And then UX design, UX stands for user experience. So UX designers make digital and physical products easy to use, accessible and enjoyable. And on the bottom of this page, you have a little bit more frequently asked questions. So this one says, I do not have college experience. Can I still apply? Yes, you're welcome to apply. No college experience is necessary. So that's really cool. I keep saying that. <laughs> I already have a bachelor's degree in the role that I'm applying for, should I apply? It sounds like you would not be eligible, but if your field of study differs from the apprenticeship field you're applying to and you have fewer than 12 months practical experience in it, then you can apply. So it seems like the ideal apprenticeship candidate has fewer than 12 months experience in their field of interest. So it's definitely for people that are new to the field. And then let's scroll up and look at a little bit more FAQs. So why is Google even offering this program in the first place? Apprentices can create equitable pathways to develop digital skills and giving apprentices the chance to earn a salary as they learn and gain work experience. We hope the result is a meaningful experience, a sense of community and job readiness towards a career in tech. When will applications open? As I said earlier, the applications are open now, but if you're watching this in the future, this is where you'll wanna go to see when the next applications are gonna open up again. So how do I apply? So I'll go over this a bit later in the video. I'll go over how you can search on the career listings page. And they also talk about tips on resume writing, which I'll go over later on as well. How do I know if I'm eligible for this apprenticeship? So it's available to anyone over the age of 18 except for Switzerland as long as they meet the minimum requirements posted on the job listing. Are international applicants eligible? You're welcome to apply as long as you have work authorization for the country where you're applying and you meet all the other minimum requirements. What does the selection process look like? The selection process is different for each program, but it generally includes a phone call with a recruiter to assess motivation and eligibility for the role and a series of interviews, and the candidates will receive all the details for these sessions, including resources on how to prepare and, and what to expect. So it sounds like, you know, they want to talk to you to see, you know, if this is a good fit for you and for the program, and they're going to help provide all the stuff that you'll need to know. Is this a paid opportunity? Yes. 
So what happens after you're done with the apprenticeship? So apprentices receive career coaching and holistic support in developing their skills throughout the program. This means apprentices typically start their search for a full-time job or further education while still in the program. So maybe you'll even have a job before you finish the program. Will I have a full-time role at Google after completing the apprenticeship? And I'm sure that's a question a lot of you want to have the answer to. The goal of the program is that this experience will enable you to secure a meaningful opportunity after completing your apprenticeship, whether you'd like to pursue further education, additional development, or apply for roles in the industry. While there is not a guaranteed role after the apprenticeship, you can apply to roles at Google depending on availability and your profile. So it sounds like there's a chance. And then the last question is, I have a disability. Will Google make accommodations for me when I interview? Our accommodation teams are dedicated to supporting people with disabilities so they can be successful in the interview process and at Google. So that's really reassuring. And then there's another tab where you can read about different apprentice stories. I really encourage you to read this section. Maybe you might feel inspired if any of these stories resonate with you. And yeah, that's pretty much all the information that the apprenticeship program has on their website. Now let's get into how you can apply. Okay, so let's do careers at Google. Let's click the link. Now let's say we want to find the apprenticeship program. We want to find them in the United States. So you can see these are all the apprenticeship programs in the United States. Uh, you can also filter it even further. So let's say you just wanna see the apprenticeship programs offered in New York. There's other filters here that might interest you. So definitely check those out. Now let's just look at the software engineer apprenticeship. I'm going to click it here. As you can see, applications are open and they're closing May 16. To start the application process, you'll need a CV, a resume in English. Click on the apply button on this page. So this is the apply button that you wanna look at. But in the rest of the listing, it will show you the minimum qualifications. So these are the things that you need at a minimum in order to apply. And then the preferred qualifications are things that they would like you to have, but they're not required. And if you're unsure on whether or not you're qualified, just apply anyways, that's what I would recommend. Otherwise, the answer is always going to be no. Here's even more information about the apprenticeship program specific to the software engineering track. And so this is gonna be your job responsibilities, support your team in the development of software, learn and follow coding standards, apply knowledge gained in apprenticeship to real world applications, ensure code is tested in accordance with the guidelines provided by your team. So you're actually learning a ton of information about what it takes to be a software engineer at Google and I think this program is super excellent and yeah that's just my opinion of this program I haven't gone through it myself as I mentioned earlier I went through the internship program and I know that program was super excellent I had a great time I learned a lot and I had a lot of fun too but if you want to hear from someone who has actually gone through the program I looked up on YouTube and there are people that have gone through the program that have their own YouTube channels so I highly recommend you search out those when you're ready to apply click this apply button it might change your life and then I also wanted to share all the different resources that Google has on their hiring website that will help you land a job. So if we look again at Google Careers, you can see they have a link, How We Hire. And it basically details the entire hiring process. So there's self-reflection, like, is this a job you wanna work at? Job searching, which is like looking for jobs. So I highly encourage you to go through this entire page and read it, but let's just skip to your resume. Here they give you tips on how you can best improve your resume and they have some tips on cover letters. They also talk about how you can apply online and they use the career search tool that I just showed you on how I found the apprenticeship programs. And then there's a section on interviews, what the process looks like, how you can prepare, what types of interviews that there are at Google. And then they give more information on how they make a decision on whether or not they give you an offer. So this is all super helpful information that I recommend that you look up. I highly recommend you look up the Google students page Pages. So this is students, Google careers. There's even more information. Learn how to create a great resume and to apply. So students applying to Google, focus on your resume, prepare for the interview process. They talk about the different jobs you can have in engineering. So software engineer, product manager, network engineer, UX specialist. You can find more information about all these types of roles. They also have a comprehensive guide on preparing for technical roles at Google. You can grow your technical skills. If you're new to computer science, check out this section. If you wanna know the foundations of programming, check out this section. There's data structures and algorithms and there's interview prep. So there are tons of videos and reading that you can do to help you prepare for your interviews. There's even coding problems. There's interactive tutorials. If you're curious about computer science, there's a section for you here. 
Let's see, let's go back. Let's say you're on the business, sales, and people side. There's internships in that area at Google. Whenever somebody asks me about internships or student programs at Google, I show them this website because there's tons of information here. And I think it's helpful even if you're not a student. So definitely recommend checking this out. And then one last thing, I just wanted to quickly say thank you all for 10,000 subscribers. It is just a number, but it's a huge milestone for me, especially because I just started off making these YouTube videos for fun. But now I've learned that a lot of you find a lot of value and find my videos to be very inspiring. I just think that's super cool. <laughs> I actually receive a lot of messages from people who say that my videos inspire them to keep on trying to get their dream job in tech and I just want to say it's definitely possible. It is a lot of hard work but it's super rewarding. I've even gotten quite a few messages from people who started working at Google, found my contact information and messaged me saying how much my videos have helped them and especially now with opportunities like these apprenticeship programs, it's definitely possible for more and more people to break into tech even with limited experience. So just apply and let me know if you apply, let me know if you get in, let me know just your thoughts on the apprenticeship program. Anyways, my candle is super burning, so thanks again for 10k, and I will see you in the next one.